Why is that not universal? All right, am I sitting in the chair correctly? I think I am. Maybe up just a little bit more. Uh, nope, hover. There we go. Now you press save, doesn't do anything. Silly chair. It never remembers my settings. I know, I need to stop being so darn small. But it's so cute. Oh, do you think that's what it is? Maybe it's because the script isn't allowed to run. Uh, well, I'm not turning scripts on because I don't want us to get griefed. So, but that, Miri, you might be right. <laughs> Good try. Good try. Oh, let's see here. Is it time to start? Oh, Vivian, you can always cuddle. I like cuddles. Too past even. Okay, well, we're we're in on it. Um, hello and happy December. We are fully into the end of the year, um, which means a lot of people are taking a lot of time off, as could be expected. It is holiday season here in the States. Um, normally what we do here is we, we talk about things that uh, we have done over the past month um, and things that are coming later on, um, you know, between now and the next month, right? So January, now in January. Uh, and then we do question and answer. So uh, anyone who hasn't been here before, I do see a couple new faces. Uh, that's kind of our format, and I will be sticking to it today. Um, quick off the top, this is the web user group. I am the product manager for the web development team. Um, I can answer almost all of your web-related questions, and that includes things like you know, account management and how you log in, but also the marketplace and subscriptions and all that other good stuff. Uh, what I can't do probably is answer kind of more in-world type questions uh, and also, you know, governments and compliance and, and that kind of thing. Uh, those are beyond my ken. So you may ask uh, and I will answer them if I can, but generally I will not be able to. All it will do is, is create problems if I <laughs> try and make something up. Um, so I don't. With those ground rules... Um, hello! Happy December. How is everybody? Hi, Whirly. It's nice to see you. Hello, Neo. Neri, I'm sorry that life's hard. Hopefully second life is, is not as hard. Is a... Uh, a good reprieve. Vivian, I'm not open to questions yet. Save them, save them. I'll let you know, I promise. Good job. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, the Big thing that I've been promising uh, for the last couple of months is the Marketplace Elasticsearch uh, upgrade. We are really, really, really trying to get that in before the, the major holiday shopping starts. Um, we think it's going to be a, a, big, uh, a big boon to your shopping experience. Um, you may have noticed 
a couple of small little blips with the marketplace over the last couple of days. That's actually been us trying to release that. Um, we keep running into small issues uh, that are amusingly mostly that the marketplace is so big. Um, we are going to continue to try and get that out, but uh, I, um, you know, we want to make sure that it actually works the right way and that we're not breaking things. Um, I'm sure you all understand that. Um, but just a reiteration for those of you who hadn't heard it, this is the basically the same back end um, upgrade that we did to our main search function. So search.secondlife.com. Um, that, that extra stuff that we're getting out of that, it, we are also implementing over on the marketplace side. Um, importantly, that will help with uh, making search, you know, faster and more reliable and it'll give you a bunch of options that you may not have had before um, we've switched around how exact matching works um, and you know made sure that for example if you are searching for products you don't get the store names right um, so all good stuff and then more, most importantly it gives us the ability to start building the relevance uh, engine that we are also working on on top of Marketplace so that we can start delivering even better searching for you as time goes on. So all of that is coming, hopefully, fingers crossed, this week. I really wanted to be able to announce it here uh, today. Uh, in fact, I tried to get it out last uh, yesterday so that we could all talk about it. Um, but, you know, we're working. We're trying. Um, these things are a little bit funky. Like I say, the marketplace is really, 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 really big. And it's big in ways that we can't really replicate on our uh, dev environments. So um, sometimes you kind of just have to throw stuff out and see if it sticks. And at the moment, it's not sticking yet. But it will. <laughs> Sorry, Brooke. Didn't mean to take your complaint away. <laughs> um. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm giggling. Um, variance, Lucy, good question. So variance is next after the search stuff. Um, so since search is not yet out, variance is also not out. Um, we do, or we're still in the same place that we were with, with variance before. Uh, all of the infrastructure is ready, we just need to do the, the front end thing, um, which we are not able to do while we're still playing around with search. So not gonna be this year. There you go. There's your news. No variants this year. I think I said that last week or last month, um, but now I can be really, really, really specific about it. We will not get variants this year. Next year. Um, in the meantime, uh, we did a lot of work on Plus. Um, I'm sure you all saw it. We're still continuing to do a bunch of work on Plus. Uh, to make sure that that continues to go well. Also, really pleased that it seems like, uh, for the most part, um, everyone kind of got what we were aiming for there um, and and are, you know, generally along for the ride. I didn't see any. It's the end of Second Life, for example, um, which, you know, congratulations. <laughs> um, that's, that's a first. Usually whenever we make any change whatsoever, you know, oh, God, it's the end of Second Life. So... Um, definitely glad that that didn't happen this time. Um, we are also waiting on premium a la carte. Lucy, trust me, you know I'm with you on that. I had to get plus out first, but I also want premium a la carte. You gotta, you gotta let me baby step this out. Um, but soon, someday. I don't even want to say soon. It's not even soon because it's not soon. It's someday. But I do want it. And I keep advocating for it. So we'll keep playing around with it. Um, that being said, this is the last subscription model that we have planned at the moment. Um, so right now the, the offerings are basically free, right? So your basic, uh, basic account plus, um, which you could assume is, you know, essentially basic plus, right? Uh, premium and then premium plus. Uh, we, I would love to do more types and the types that I want to do are kind of that more a la carte version uh, or more specific to, you know, what you might actually be doing uh, in Second Life. So like a creator uh, specific one, for example, 
um, you know, or, you know, a, an RPG specific one, you know, but we have to figure out what, what would be meaningful um, to, to those types of, of users that is different from say, you know, just your normal premium or, you know, premium plus type stuff, right? Um, some of the, obviously there'd be some overlap, right? Like creators and, and sellers might really want all those extra groups, but they might not care about the, the extra mainland, right? So stuff like that. Um, so still working on those and trying to figure out what would look, you know, what would be correct. That's the kind of stuff that we'll start talking about in the new year. Um, and then the other thing that I've been talking about for the new year is, you know, kind of this idea that 2023 might be the year that we kind of rehash the marketplace entirely. Uh, we've been talking about that in this space. I want to continue talking about that in this space, not this month necessarily, uh, because there's a lot of other like end of the year stuff going on. Um, but, you know, still on our long term roadmap is really looking hard at the marketplace and saying, oh no, hey, is it time to rebuild it from the ground up? We know for sure that we want to do some sort of, you know, refresh to the way it looks. Uh, and there's all sorts of functionality that, that we would like to add in, you know, kind of a while we're in there. And at this point, that starts to sound a lot to me like, hey, maybe just build it up, build it up fresh uh, and add all that, that cool stuff in. So um, keep an ear out for that. Uh, I know that that's, that's kind of gone around a little bit. I even had some people uh, at the lab come to me and say, hey, do you know anything about this thing? And I was like, yes, I do. I talk about it in my user group. That's where they're hearing it. Um, so yeah, please feel free to continue that conversation. Um, I, I want to hear more about it and we are listening. Uh, let's see here. What else have we been working on? Um, we, those are kind of like the really big things. We're also trying to work on getting more real time, um, population figures for the destination guide specifically. Uh, but once I can get that, then I want to also put it into search. So. Like, for example, if you look at the destination guide or you look at a, um, a region, you know, or a, a parcel in search, having it say that there's 10 people there um, would be really, really awesome. Uh, and I'm working very closely to try and make that happen. Um, I think that's going to unlock a, a bunch of, you know, just general usability uh, for us. But specifically, I think it's really going to help out our newer users. Um, so that's kind of the big one. And let me, let me go up a little bit here. Do, 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 do. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Yep, I'm definitely boxing with the corporate side of the company. That is in fact my job, Neri. Um, if you were to look up product manager in the dictionary, it would essentially have that image. Yeah. Spin up sim that runs locally. Hmm. Not sure about that. It's kind of interesting though. Uh, Whirly. Um, the question, would that need all products to be re-uploaded to the new art marketplace? Nope. Uh, we would manage a migration. You wouldn't need to re-upload. Yeah, thanks, Hope. Got it. Uh, do, do, do. Right time sisters, how do you account for bot presences to game the system? Neri, that's a good question. Um, I don't know how to answer that question just yet, uh, other than to say we don't have a good, right? Like we, we try really hard to, to fix the bot problems. Um, but bot problems are a problem with traffic too. Um, like I, I don't know how to fix that. All I can do is present you a better version of traffic, but it will come with a lot of the same problems that traffic has, right? with with bots uh, 
I mean, Blade Runners would work. Going through, going through. Um, okay, so that's what we've been working on and a little bit of what we want to do in the future. Um, I think the, the, the really easy um, kind of pat answer for what are we going to get between now and New Year's, like the next time that we have this space, the answer is that search functionality for Marketplace and with any luck, uh, we may be able to, you know, get the, the real-time stuff on the on the destination guide, but no promises there. Um, aside from that, we're kind of, you know, gearing into uh, what we look at as like a bug squash infrastructural, you know, end of the year, and just make things work better on the back end. Um, because for the most part, right, like we don't have all hands on deck. Uh, this is the time of year when we start taking some time off. So not a whole lot to report uh, for like things that are coming between now and what will it be? January, the first Wednesday in January, the fourth, the fourth. Which then now, Vivienne, I hope you're listening. I am prepared for questions. Hit me with all your end of the year stuff. Consider that the open space as part of some sort of super premium. It's possible. Um, we've already gotten to the point where if you are super premium, you can own a homestead without owning a full uh, region. So it's possible we might look at op uh, open spaces too. Won't rule it out. Uh, Lily, I am writing yours right now. Yeah, Lily, so that's what I meant by um, the, so the ability to list one item and then have it, you know, be all of the various colors and that kind of thing. That's what I mean by variants. So um, when Lucy mentioned variants, that's, that's what we were talking about. So that, that will not come this year. Um, that's been pushed off to next year as a result of, you know, we're still working on the, the search upgrade. Hopefully that answers that question for you. You did not imagine it. Uh, okay, Vivian, here we go. Reading. Yes. Um, I'm not going to reread your entire question here, but the, the heart of it is, um, are we thinking about linking Casper Tech and the marketplace? Uh, so in-world vendors and, and the, the marketplace? Absolutely. Um, don't know yet what that's going to look like. Uh, I will, I will candidly say that I personally haven't had a chance to talk to Casper. Um, so, you know, we're, we're in the earliest, 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 earliest possible stages of thinking about how that might work together. But absolutely, that is something that we are totally thinking about, uh, and want to pursue going forward. Hopefully that answers your question there. Uh, Whirly. Uh, it doesn't look like a question, Whirly. Thank you. Do -do -do. Ooh, 
Ooh, Vivian, I'm going to hold you to that. I read the words, I don't even mind paying marketplace commission for in-world sales. Done. <laughs> nope. Nope. Too late. Vivian, I already said didn't mind. I'm listening to the people, y'all. Ouch, ouch. That's that's not where I was going with that, Neri, but you've shamed me appropriately. Thank you. I'm glad you like our purchase, Vivian. We like Casper, too. Uh, Naya, reading yours. Ah, yes. Okay. So the, the heart of this is, have we considered allowing you to pay for your subscriptions in linen dollars? The answer is yes. Um, and I would only say stay tuned. Um, I don't know exactly what that'll look like. I don't know exactly what the implications are in terms of regulatory, um, you know, things like we're, we're in a pretty special place when we start talking about virtual currencies and things. Um, we're, we're in a place that, that ours, the Linden dollar is not actually considered a virtual currency based on the way that we use it. It's possible that we could be classified as a virtual currency if we start letting people, you know, use it to pay for, uh, things that have USD value and, and that kind of stuff. So it's, there's compli it's complicated, basically. Um, but at its heart, the intent is, yes, we would like to make it uh, so that you can pay for all of the things with linen dollars if possible. Uh, we're just trying to figure out how to do that. Maybe with our, our new partner, Tilia. New slash old partner. Whirly, I'll take that one to uh, to our finance people. Firestorm for 20 million. Fair enough. Got you on record. 20 million linen dollars? I think I can sign that deal today. <laughs> you sure? I think I can pay for that out of my own. Uh... Well, no, I can't. I don't have quite that much. So uh, that um, that that comment I made earlier about uh, op void open sim open space sims or whatever they're called uh, they are not sold anymore are they? Uh, we may have taken that that product off the the listing. Yeah, I'll I'll respect Whirly here. She knows. Uh, so yeah, they if we don't sell them anymore, we don't sell them. I know they still exist on the grid. We've got people that are presumably owned them before and are still paying for them. Right. Uh, my theory is, you know, I mentioned Patch uh, was asking the CCG groups a few weeks ago whether Super Premium would be interested in some kind of instance they could spin up only when they're online or inside of it, I assume. Oh, um, and opens, you know, overwhelmingly the crowd there was positive. They're all like, that sounds amazing. I'll buy Super Premium right now. Um, yeah, yeah, if that's yeah. what I get. Uh, and he said, well, good to know. And we never heard back about it ever again. Um, <laughs> well, uh, I'll tell you this much. I also haven't heard about it. Um, that doesn't mean that Patch and, and the executive team aren't thinking about pursuing that. It just means that it hasn't filtered down back to me yet. Well, the, the only thing I'd like to add to that conversation was if... Open space sims are not being sold anymore. 
They have a specific rule set that it's like one to five people or one to ten, to ten people. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's well. Let's see here. Homesteads are limited to ten, so open space might be eh, anyway. Yeah, it's it's like a thousand small. land impact. Very small. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it exactly matches the kind of perk I would like to see as a super premium perk. Now I know yeah, you already yeah. gave us a lot. You gave us a ton of stuff. Um, but this one, this is a weird one. It's like it's here already. You have the infrastructure there already. You could spin these things up and sell them as a perk of some sort. If you have to charge more for it, so be it. So the but... interesting part about it from a infrastructural position is that um, regions, right? Like so, you know, your homesteads, your, your full regions, your open spaces, they take up grid slots and that grid slot is in fact static, right? So while we could potentially say, sure, you can spin this up whenever you log in. It still is in that same grid slot every time and whether you're logged in or not, right? Like, because otherwise we, we have to have a place to spin it up for you. Um, and we need to be able to uh, have enough hardware available to, to handle the maximum amount of load. Right, you know, basically, if if everybody who is a super premium all logged in at the same time, a there needs to be slots for all of those, and then b so there's no cost there. You wouldn't save any cost there on infrastructure if you did it that way. That actually explains right. why patch never brought it up again. Well, um, so I mean, I'm not saying that that it's not doable. I'm just like when I'm thinking it through in my head, the the first thing that we would need to solve, right? The first issue and and problem that we would need to solve for is that, um, you know, is saying, well, okay, if it's spin up on demand, is it actually spin up on demand? And the answer is, well, the way our infrastructure is currently structured, no. Um, so from our position. While it looks spin up on demand for you, it isn't actually spin up on demand for us, and we'd have to figure out how to reconcile that. Good to know. Yeah. So it's not a no. Um, it just me brainstorming with you. Well, there is one more idea there. Um, so if if spinning them up and down is not a thing that is practical for an immediate product to sell more super premium, because like. For real, you guys want to sell more of those, right? That's the, oh, yeah. the idea. As um, many as possible. So the thing I've heard from many current and former users, and I've pulled them, I've got numbers on these. Uh, most of them have said they are selling their regions because they are too expensive, and it's just them and maybe a few friends hanging out in a giant place all you know by themselves. And they're like, we wish there was something smaller. Um, and yeah, they can rent, they can rent, they can totally go and rent, but they, I think a lot of them were just like, man, all I wanted to do was pay 50 bucks a month and get a small place for myself, somewhere isolated, you know, not in a rental, not next to neighbors. If that's a super premium thing someday, I could see it selling a lot of super premium. Yeah, so that's, that's another, you know, interesting, it kind of runs into that same um, infrastructural kind of limitation that I was talking about before, right? Like right now our grid is structured in full region sizes. Uh, it just is. And that's, we can't really change that. It's the way second life was created back in 2003 and everything kind of underpinning that. Um, so, you know, like having your own fully private with no, um, no, uh, neighbors region that is just yours um, is is essentially having your own private region, right? Like it, it's the same on our end as. Oh, you don't have to designate the same amount of resources to it, right? I, I know that. No, potentially no, not. Right. No, I, I agree with you. Um, but it is just something that we would have to figure out and solve, right? Because it's just the way things are structured, right? Like we, right. we are under right. certain limitations, right? The grid is, is such as it is. But yes, the hardware that we are provisioning to that can be flexible and variable. Um, and we would have to figure out how to do that. But yeah. That, we, the big thing is you already have an entry there to work with. Right. You know, yeah. that, it's a good idea to look at that. <laughs> yeah, feature request heard, absolutely. All right, let me go back through the chat here. Thank you for uh, chiming in there, Wayne. I appreciate it.
you know, I guess this does bring up that one of the other things that we're working on that I forgot to mention is kind of that land ownership journey. So we are trying to overhaul at least the way that we describe and provision and explain what your land options are. So, you know, things like what does renting actually mean and, you know, who can you rent from and what does that look like? Um, so we are working on that too. Neri, your question is, does a sim have to appear on the map grid or can sims exist that aren't on that grid? The answer is yes and no. You can set it so that it doesn't appear on other people's map, but it absolutely has to be on the grid. Um, we don't have separate grids available to throw, throw sims on. So Now our grid is gigantic and there's lots of open space on there, so I'm not worried about running out of spaces on the grid it would exist on the grid somewhere. Yeah. It might be a little nutters, but it might also be a good idea. I mean, it's, I, I don't think it's a bad idea. I, I just, I, I can't immediately say, oh yeah, we're going to do that because there's so many things that jump out at me off the top of my head of like, ooh, well, <laughs> the implications of doing that mean this, 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 and this. So until we really have a, a think uh, about how we would solve that, um, I can't personally sign off on it. My power only extends so far. when that's helpful. Thank you. All right, did I miss any questions in there? I, I scrolled back. I, I think I got everybody. But if I missed you, jump at me. Uh, Neo, open graph one. Can you repaste it for me? I'm sorry, I missed it. I'll watch now. We're looking at it in web two. Read. All right, reading. Thank you, Neo. Uh, oh, yeah, I would agree. Yeah, if you're already filing a bug report, please continue doing that. Um, we'll, we'll take a look at it. Thank you for bringing that up.
It's going to be the fastest one ever. Nobody has any other questions. Neo, I, I, I think I tried to answer your question. Uh, are you still like, yes, to, thank you for bringing that up. We think it's a bug. Please file the bug report. Oh, oh, sorry. I meant the fastest um, web user group ever. Uh, Niria, I will answer that question as soon as I answer Vivienne's, which, um, <laughs> Vivienne, can I explain a bit how the search algorithm works to determine what search results come up first? The answer to your question, Vivienne, is no, but let me tell you why no. It's because I don't actually know. <laughs> I don't I don't know the answer to that. Not that I don't want to give it to you, but I I'm, I'm not technically competent. Um, <laughs> it's been a long time since I was a developer. Um, but I can, I can help find that answer for you. Um, it's something that we will, we should be able to share at least in part. Um, right. I mean, there's some special sauce going on in the back end that, that we don't necessarily want people to game. Uh, so I, I can't give you like the code. Um, but I can absolutely probably give you, you know, broad strokes. I just don't have them on the mark at the moment. Okay, so Niri asks, am I doing anything special for Christmas? And the answer is yes. I'm going down uh, and visiting my family in the southern part of our country. And I'm very much looking forward to it. I haven't seen them in a while. Thank you for asking. Lucy, I did say that, and I am still interested in that. I would love to offer search relevancy stats to marketplace store owners. Mm -hmm. Yep, on the listing level. Yeah, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, there there are very few statistics that I have access to that I don't think you should have access to. Um, so I am in the business of trying to democratize that uh, as particular, you know, as store owners as much as possible. Like, if if your business is successful, my business is successful. There's no reason why I wouldn't want to give you the tools to be successful. So yes, I'm still very interested in that. Brooke, yeah, so <laughs> that's a really, that's a big problem that we're not unaware of, right? Like, we also would like to see a, a way that if you put something in the marketplace in the wrong category, it gets handled. If you figure out how to do that <laughs> in a way that isn't having people, you know, call it out and we go fix it manually, um, let me know, because we're trying to solve that problem too. Uh, Brooke, so the question, do I have a flag for us to bring it to your attention? Yeah, just throw it in the, the feature request. Um, I'm in that triage. In fact, we do it every Wednesday. 
I just did it this morning. So um, any any feature request that comes in, I see it. You don't have to do anything special to get my attention. Oh, do you mean flagging? Oh, sorry. Yeah, you can't get my attention for flagging marketplace reports. That's that's. I don't I don't do that. That goes through a different team. I build the tools that allow you to flag stuff. I don't actually moderate the content myself. Thank goodness. Nobody wants that. It would just be me saying, I don't like green. Morley, your blank display name is creeping me out. So this all kind of goes back to, uh, and and I, I'm only going to say this so that you all understand why I'm not commenting on this conversation. Uh, it's it's that thing that I was talking about before. Um, that's, that's the governance team that handles um, the flagging. I honestly have no idea what things are flagged for, or why they are actioned, why they are not. Any comment I make is almost sure to be wrong and be misleading. And so I'm not commenting on it, not because I don't care, um, but because I literally have no input and no insight into it. So I apologize for not being able to take part in that conversation. Yeah, I hear you. Um, but unfortunately, like I say, nothing I can do about it. When I have not played with PBR yet. Have you, do you like it? Do you love it? Tell me more. Mm -hmm.
Squirrely, that's a thought. I know you know how to submit feature requests. Lucy, the listing date and listings? Yes, working on it. It's on the list. Cross my heart, hope to die. I agree that sorting by listing date would be extremely nice. Agreed. Yep, Lily, I agree. Transparency. It's that's what I'm I'm hoping for. It is my goal. As I said earlier, like I there there are very few things that I can think of that I have access to that I, I want to keep from everybody else. If, if I know your listing date, then you can know the listing date. If I know the tags, there's no reason why you can't know the tags for a given, you know, given listing. You can all see now why I'm thinking, boy, I think we just need to rebuild the marketplace, right? Right? Everybody gets it? There's so much more than just cosmetic stuff that needs to happen to it. cool goal is in fact being able to see the actual assets in a previewer. That is true. I will say nothing else. But that is a real cool goal. I agree. Well, hope, look, everything's next year at this point. <laughs> Oh, I see. You were answering Neo. Yes, right. Variants next year. Really, I'm not saying anything of the sort. But it'd be pretty cool if it was coming, isn't it? Wouldn't it? I can't. I can tell you nothing. Neary, bigger linden homes, ooh, more LI, more space. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool too. Maybe match those up with that uh, premium plus. It's already giving you more uh, more space. Yeah, something like that sounds about right. I think that's a great idea.
Yeah, that's what I meant. Premium plus, so the, the super premium. And yes, I know that that naming convention's a little bit clunky. Animesh attachments for premium plus, man, mm, these are really good ideas. Boy, y'all are crushing it. Uh, 30 second sound uploads. Uh, Lucy, that's that's interesting. Um, I wish I could tell you exactly when that's going to be a thing or if, um, as I understand it, the the main issue is uh, IP stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't know everything about those 30 second sound uploads. Like I said, I'm, I do I do web stuff, but they're looking into it. I don't know when. Yeah, Whirly actually sounds like she knows more about it than I do. Ask Whirly. That's actually true about a lot of things. Whirly knows a lot more than I do. <laughs> Generally knows more about things than I know. Lucy, I'm going to sound really dumb here for a minute, but what is an arbitrary 100k try count? What is that? Sure, I, I get that it was unrelated, but um, I still don't know what it means. <laughs> what is what is 100,000 K try count? I don't know what that means. Ah, oh, well, see, this is this is the reason why I don't talk about things that other teams do. <laughs> I did ask. You're right. Thank you. Um, yeah, I unfortunately, obviously can't comment on that because I have no idea what you're talking about. But yeah. I, did, I know. I asked. You're right. I, I asked. Thank you. Thank you for answering me. I'm just telling you why I can't answer you. The super duper premium. Yeah. Double Platinum Secret Premium. Ooh, I do like plusing your plus face. <laughs> I'm going to pitch that one up. We'll see how that goes. Company might just smack me. Right? Just for the name alone. Give you a big old gold star. There's no features to it. It's just being able to say that you're losing your flukes, McPlus face. Throw a, a special flag in the in the name change. Yep, exclusive last name. There it is, McPlus face. Uh, it's okay, Neri. You didn't don't don't apologize for that. I was already going there. You just beat me to it. I mean, Boo might come back next Halloween, but. I'm not going to take that, that decision away from Patch's team. Go lobby Patch. We did lower the rename fee across the membership tiers. 
I already did that. Mary, you're drunk. All right. I actually have somewhere to be after this one, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a for reals three minutes. Brooke, if you sell your account to Elon Musk, I'm going to be so sad. Unless I get to share in that, that sell price. In which case, we should negotiate. <sighs> going to have to go up. Still going to be sad at $8. I mean, he might already have an SL account. You'd be surprised the people that have SL accounts. And no, I'm not going to tell you any. Just head that question off before it even starts. I mean, Whirly, feel free. <laughs> Come ply, with me, ply me with booze. I like it brown. <laughs> Indeed. I give no guarantees to your success but I will enjoy the experience either way. One minute. Last minute questions, anybody? Nah, you did great. <laughs> Thank you. I do this for the applause, so thank you. My favorite SL memory, that's a great question. Um, I used to work in frontline support um, and I, let's see, I, I went into a lot of really amazing builds that were things that I had never run into before, but Hmm. Trying to pick one out is, is tough. Uh, I, you know, actually I'll tell you what my favorite SL memory. I, I have, I have it for you. Um, this little penguin avatar, uh, I picked up almost 10 years ago now. Um, because I was at Frank's place. If you all remember the old Frank's place and, um, Nancy who ran the place, uh, you know, was like, oh, hey, Reed, sorry. Um, you know, it's black tie only here. Um, that's the way her club was set up. And uh, I said, oh, oh, okay, no problem, no problem. So I left and I went onto the marketplace and I, um, I found this little penguin. I was specifically looking for penguins. Uh, I found this avatar without the hat and the scarf and everything. I've done that separately. Um, but then came back and I, I told Nancy, all right, I'm in my penguin suit and um, 
she she let me in <laughs> i mean i was linda then i was in a god mode there was nothing she could have done about it but yeah it was by far my favorite little like in joke of she was like all right fair play <laughs> you can you can be in my club now <laughs> it's like oh good i'm gonna help fix your scripts um but yeah long ago and far away i used to be the person that would go around and fix your regions for you <laughs> Get rid of your griefers. Answer your support calls. My very first, um, my very first Friday night, I didn't know anything about uh, Second Life when I started. Uh, I had not been a, a user before I started, and my very first night, everybody that was supposed to be on on shift with me all left uh, for whatever reason. Like somebody was going to a wedding, and you know other stuff. So I had. I had two phone calls, or no, one phone call and five live chats going at the same time. And it was just me sitting there going, I don't know the answer to that. Let me go figure it out. <laughs> and I did that all night long. Uh, it was the most amazing trial by combat, uh, trial by fire. But yeah, I got hooked then. That was 11 years ago. All right. Yep. I got to get going. Thanks, everybody. Happy holidays. Uh, enjoy your December, and we will see you in January. Cheers. Be safe, everybody. <laughs>